My name is Jim Thomas and welcome to the Fitness Management Update. Our topic today is how to increase member loyalty in your gym. Now, one of the great tips to help you increase member loyalty and increase your referrals is as follows. You know, after the membership sale is completed, you want to conduct a simple survey with your new member. And, you know, this can be you know, anything you like that relates to, you know, the buying process, you know, how they hear about you, you know, how you were, how were you greeted at the front desk, you know, the, the entire process to really get a, a sense of what they liked, what they didn't like. And because what you're looking to ultimately do here from a pure survey standpoint is, you know, how can you create a better buying process? So that's going to help you with that information. But what also is going to help here is with your member and you're looking to establish member loyalty is your member is going to feel like they're being listened to. They're going to feel like their opinions matter. They're going to feel valued. So they're going to complete this very simple survey. And then what you want to make sure you do, acknowledge that, acknowledge the completion of it, acknowledge uh, the information they provided, acknowledge their comments, and then thank them for it. Next, give them an unannounced bonus. It's not, uh, hey, if you complete the survey, we'll give you this. It's, it's just simply, here's the survey, you know, you know, please fill this out. When they do, you acknowledge the information, you thank them for it, and then have some kind of an unannounced bonus. It's gonna be a lot more meaningful to them than using that as some kind of an incentive. But using this approach, you know, the survey is gonna help you improve your process as far as enrollments, it's going to help your members feel valued, feel listened to, make sure you acknowledge and thank them, then give them an unannounced bonus, and watch your referrals go up significantly. My name is Jim Thomas, and this has been the Fitness Management Update.